So I recently just bought an abandoned house because it was cheaper than a living house. A living house? I got this house on Friday, so it's still in condition like I got it because I really haven't done much. I've been doing some damage control because there's holes everywhere. There's a hole in the floor here. Luckily, they put a board here to let me know, so I have not fallen through that yet. There are holes in the ceilings. This is not the only one. It's looking a little rough around the edges, but you know, I have faith that I can fix this place up. This is the main hallway that leads to like the kitchen dining room area. This is where the majority of the leaks are coming in the house, so that's why there's buckets everywhere. This is new here. I got the house and it, this didn't fall down, but then it fell down after, so just kind of step around it. But here's the living room to the house. It's really beautiful if we like look past the not so beautiful rain and wet and mold. But back in the day when this was built, this really was a beautiful home. Unfortunately, the owner just didn't do anything since it was built like 75,000 years ago. That's why it's looking so rough, but all these furnishings here were the original pieces that they got with the home. They made specifically for the home. So it's kind of cool to see all these furnitures actually not deteriorated because a lot of the house is deteriorated. Carpet's gone because like a tsunami came in here. I haven't seen any animals in here, which is surprising. Are we gonna do an interview? Oh. Wow, this, is, this has four cushions, this couch. It, it came with a house, right? Yeah, I get to keep it. I think we just need to fix the cushion here. It'll be... Yeah. I think... Oh, that already looks so much better. <laughs> just a little for breeze. <laughs> Might keep it. Man, this actually works better than most of these recliners. This is actually in pretty good shape. My mom gave me this shower curtain to put here so in case we did get more leaks well this came with the house i don't know what i'm going to do with this because i don't play piano i'm worried if i move it it's going to fall through the floor so they did this cool thing where they actually have like they have a wall but then they don't have a wall because you can see above so i don't really know what the purpose of this was because i can still hear people in the dining room if i'm wanting to watch tv over here so the wall seems to be in really Great shape. It's not moving. Do you think any of these work? There technically is two entrances here, but one's blocked. So this used to be the dining room area, but this, this house was passed down through the family. So the last person that lived here before he died, he was an architect. So this is kind of like his architect room here. So he has the drafting table. He has works that he worked on. And it's, yeah, it's just a room of tables now. I think he did maybe some furniture pieces as well, you can see. Now we're on to the kitchen. Is the center of the house here. This kitchen has not been updated whatsoever. We still have original stove. This is nice. These are nice appliances for back in the day. Like who the frick had a stove top like this like 80 years ago? I didn't. I didn't even have this five years ago in my place. I don't think they work. This one has a nail in it. Why is, do you think someone shot a nail through here? I just turned it on. That's why there's a nail in it, because they probably didn't want me to open this. This might have been updated, I'm not too sure. There's a lot of stuff here. There's peanuts for squirrels in here. Probably shouldn't have those I, Why the isn't house. there rats or something in this house? You know, I wonder if those peanuts are the reason for this sign outside. I think that the, they want the peanuts. That looks pretty solid. To be honest, yeah, this is, I might be able to keep this. I think it's holding up a little better than the, yeah, the ceiling well, here is. It doesn't look it's great. Had, it's had better days, the ceiling, unfortunately. Yeah. I feel like we could patch it up. Off to the bedrooms. Okay, so a little bit about the house. We got three beds in here. I'm not saying any of them are livable. We got three baths as well. So first one, let's set our expectations on the floor. Oh, this is nice. Wow. 
I, th I think the rope here is to close the window, but I'm scared they're going to rip these doors off because they're not looking too hot. This looks great. I'm... I don't have words. This one! This one's fire. Flooring still intact. The bed, we got a bigger bed in here. Look at this, we both can fit on this bed. Wow. And look, there's not even that much stuff. And the windows aren't having to be, actually, never mind. This one actually had to be tied closed too as well. Ho ho ho, Nikki! Hard hats. This one's actually brand new. This one's, eh, seen better days, but. Next room. Here is the master room. This is where I'm gonna be putting my room in here, my bedroom, my closet, my bathroom. Pretty big, right? This is like the size of my apartment right now. There is a lot of stuff in here, but again, we gotta keep an open mind with this house. It's wow. not perfect. They had raisin bran. That looks pretty good. That actually just might be recent. It's from last week. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this room. Um, this one's gonna take some time clearing, getting rid of. I don't know how the, f I don't know, how am I gonna move this thing? I don't know. A lot of questions with this house. How am I gonna fix it up? What am I gonna do? That's for you to wait and find out, but this is gonna be my bedroom. I'm gonna do one massive bed, and then I'm gonna have a bigger closet, bigger bathroom. Pretty much this whole house is just gonna be just a bedroom. A lot of things here. A lot of things here. Like we even got freaking cotton balls over here. Do you guys want to see the bathrooms? So this is the master bath, which is really cool because they did two different tiles. So this one's like the pink themed small tile, which I love baby tile, even though it, and we're not gonna get into it. But this is the peach palace, we can call it. Like look at this bathtub. This is 2024 Pantone color of the year, and I just bought a house with it already. Didn't even have to invest in getting custom toilets or custom bath. It's already here. They still even have, this is full. You can, you can use this, right? That, that's what I use at home. That's it for my master. Let's go to the next bathroom, which different color scheme. We're not pink anymore. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. I got these. Like, look at this blue sink. Have you ever seen a blue sink like this? Probably not. Just everything, everything. They really... Look, we have toilet paper. Yeah, I've already used it. It's a little moist. That's really nice. Yeah, as you can see, there's not many lights in this house. There's one on there. I think that's the only light that works in this house. One and a half story house. Beautiful downstairs here. We got two rooms. We got a rec room and an office and a mechanical room. I think they were trying to renovate this one. Yeah, unfortunately, this room never got finished. Brand new. Is it laminate? What is this? It looks like cork. Cork? Cork oh, flooring. That's coming back. All this wood. Look at this. We can replace some of the roof with this. This room honestly looks great. We could I just know. probably move in here tomorrow. You think we can move in here? I think we can move in here. Do you, do you want to move? Yeah. I think this could work. We got one light. Look at that. I already have a light in my bedroom. Wow. Well, might need to patch this though. Got 7,000 National Geographics here. Probably can sell them on eBay. Over here, got a beautiful mirror. This is where I can get ready in the morning. The bathroom, I don't think there's a light here that works. Oh, oh yellow, look at this. This is a nice yellow. They chose good colors like back in the day. A yellow. Do you think I could keep it? All of it, we can just power wash it. Oh no, it is. Oh, standing shower. A yellow standing shower. Oh my god, it actually doesn't look bad. Look at this. We got skis. The floor doesn't look bad either. Look at that. Oh wow. See? Not bad. Do you see this toilet? Looks. I love it. This is my favorite bathroom. These tiles, I, I want to keep. I love those well, if tiles. We're moving in downstairs. I think you can use it. We can just power wash, right? Yeah, just bring a power washer in here. It's already wet anyways. So this is the recreation room. They have this pool table, which I don't know how to get out. I am concerned about that. But again, this is one of the unfortunate rooms that has a lot of things in it. A lot, a lot of things. Like we got a freaking Christmas tree over here. Uh, old letters. 
I think that's a pretty good Christmas tree. We needed that for Christmas. This looks like you have tequila in here. I gotta say, my favorite, one of my favorite features about the house is this wall. It goes up through the whole thing on the outside of the house. Like this is beautiful rock. Again, we gotta keep expectations on the floor. It's a bit rough around the edges, but I just see a lot of potential here, you know. <laughs> power washer, power wash this bad boy. I think they're trying to keep the water out. Yeah, but it's dry now though, that's so that's a good, good sign. They have a nice red wall in here to match your jacket. Can't see me. This is a film camera. Do you think there's still film in here? There are endless amount of documents here. This, it's crazy. A lot of them are dating back to like the 1940s. And when I was going through this one specifically yesterday, he has love letters or at least letters from him and a partner way back in the day. It's really interesting to see an outside perspective of like, well, what was their life like? And how did it get to this point where they pretty much have, well, they died. I think the really cool thing about all of these letters, it really brings it into perspective how in a lot of them, it says the date that they received the letter. Yeah, no, a lot of them were because like there was early. No texting. So in order to let the other person know that you received their letter, you have to say what day you received it on yeah. when you were I'll, I'll show you guys one letter. I'll find one in here that I was looking at. Like, they're old. This one, 1946, Edmonton, Alberta. Look That's at that. That's crazy. So just 1946, the these were getting sent out. I actually wonder if those are war letters. I don't know. Because, like, look at these. This one's from 1946, March 31st, Sunday noon. I've been listening to the radio since 10.30 a.m. Like, I would love to read through these one day. There's so many. That's the problem, is that there's probably hundreds of letters. Like, what... I wonder if there's anything from 1944, 1945. Probably. Well, 1946. 1948. Wow. What year? 1943. I think mean, that's the earliest one we've so seen. So that's, that's the war. One second. What are these? What is this, Nick? Masterpieces of Industrial Art, art and, and Sculpture at the 1862. Oh my is god. Is this an actually 1862 book? I think this is. They don't make them like this anymore. This like needs to go to like a museum. But it looks like this was all like letter pressed on a printing press. Let's let's go outside. I gotta show you guys one more thing. Do you guys wanna see the garage first? Uh. Uh, look at this beautiful room. Also, again, watch this. I'm gonna show you guys something else. Let's go. I have a pool. You it's, think we can swim in it? Uh, just down there. This, there's no water here. Some of the tile has fallen off, but I did notice they have kept the tile, so we can just, you know, tape it back on. See? We can patch up the pool with these. And it's like a good deep pool, not one of those terrible shallow ones where you can't dive in. You can dive into this one. I so. wonder if the diving board's still good. Maybe I'll stand on it. Do not stand on it. You're gonna kill yourself. Oh my goodness. The, the wood you're standing on right now, I'm worried that you're gonna fall through. So what's the plan with the house, Jen? What are we doing? We're here. We bought it. Yeah. We put a tarp on it. I know. There's a lot of work to be done. Should we renovate? I think renovate it. It's got some good bones. Do you think people would watch that on your channel? Probably not. 